Hey, Mike Moon here. This is just a quick little video uh, about the HP Omen 25L gaming desktop used in nice hash mining. This is what I have the computer do when I'm not using it at the moment or processing or doing any uh, of the other things. The specifications of the Omen 25L I have linked down below for this. It's an AMD Ryzen 7 3700X processor with an AMD Radeon RX 5700 graphics card with 8 gigabytes of GDDR6 dedicated memory, along with 16 gigabytes of HyperX SD RAM. Uh, two DIMMs. I am running this completely stock, so it includes the following 512 gigabyte PCI. Express, none of that really matters for mining. I uh, just wanted you to know what the specs are for this system. Now, this system currently runs at, uh, I believe, 1299 or 1199 something like that. This was also recently on sale at Costco for a discounted price of, I believe, 1000 US dollars, of course, plus tax. That sold out pretty quickly. It it was gone in a couple of days. I don't know how many how much quantity was actually taken. So if you are able to get your hands on one, this is what you can expect. And currently, the the mining profitability is pretty low. Right now, it's only about four dollars a day, and uh, this is through running nice hash, which is just the simplest way to go ahead and run things, and without any other special configuration. This got as high as about 7 or $8, sometimes even more. It really depends on the demand uh, that is on uh, Ethereum because NiceHash does the transactions for Ethereum and then pays you in Bitcoin. So we're looking at a profitability today, March 3rd, 2021, of $3.27 roughly every 24 hours. Now, this has been going up and down recently. And right now, it is currently on the down. Okay, so this is really is not much at all. And I, I don't have this run 24-7 necessarily. Uh, I did run a test for the past few days and uh, a couple of days last week. And when it was on the high, it was running about $20, up to $20 a day over one night. So that's kind of what you can sort of expect. Now, the actual profitability over the past 24 hours was $3.27. This was with running just the graphics card and not with the CPU. I just started up the CPU just to see roughly how much that would bring it up. It really didn't do much at all. It's probably not worth it to mine with the CPU in general, unless you really want to heat up the house because it does bring up the temperatures and it causes the fans to really rev up. All right, so let's take a look at the uh, the temperatures and stuff. Okay, so with the Ryzen 7 mining, it's getting up to 88C, degree C. This is, of course, stock. No other special configuration done at all. Straight up from the box and out with nice hash running on here. You will see the AMD temperatures are running at 81 degrees for the GPU Celsius which is very reasonable. The memory is running at 96. Hotspot is at 90 degrees. And VDDC VR is at 68. All reasonable temperatures. I don't really feel a need to be worried about it right now, especially in, in early March. It still feels like wintry temperatures outside. So this has been running fairly stably. Every once in a while, though, uh, with it in stock configuration, it will say something about an error. But... Uh, nice hash will automatically start things back up again, and so uh, there hasn't been any issues. Now, I am definitely not going to be mining using the uh, the Ryzen 7. Look at the profitability is 0 0.00642 micro Bitcoin right now, which is nothing. It's it's just really nothing, not even worthwhile. And for whatever reason, the temperatures don't show up here. I forgot what the reasons were. I looked it up. Uh, so they're not over here, but you can definitely monitor that using uh, CPU ID, hardware monitor, whatever your favorite hardware monitoring tool. It hasn't been an issue. And actually, the system runs fairly quiet and uh, doesn't produce a way too much heat uh, that I would you know, expect. But it is, again, early March. So we're still in uh, winter weather territory. 
Now, as far as the usability of the machine, while it is still mining, it is not a problem at all. This definitely has enough horsepower to handle any work that you might need to do. If you are having this gaming PC run and mine in the background, uh, it has no problems whatsoever doing general basic web surfing, YouTube, uh, you know, any social media stuff, no problem whatsoever. It just has plenty of horsepower to go, especially if, if, um, if you were just, you know, surfing the web. Now, as far as playing games, obviously that's just not going to be something that's going to work out because all of that power is being sent to nice hash mining. But, you know, general day to day watching Netflix, anything that any students might do while in the midst of doing something, you can even have zoom meetings. It's really does not take up a lot of processing power whatsoever. So overall, um, I think it's not a bad idea to just have your system in back, making some money, maybe at least paying for electricity. And uh, in the original calculation of getting this, it does fit into the price point of approximately $1,000 just for the graphics card alone. At least that's what the market rate is for Radeon RX 5070. Uh, let's take a quick look to see to confirm if that is in fact the case right now. eBay, usually eBay is a good way to check. Uh, Radeon RX 5700. Now this is not a 5700 XT, so keep that in mind. And yeah, it looks like it is roughly around $1,000. It's a 980, 970. thousand dollars and that's right in line with how much you would expect to make uh using this for uh, mining using nice hash or other cryptocurrencies in terms of the value that you get back within six months all right so that's my just quick little take and experience running nice hash in the background while still using the computer and even when not using the computer really at a rate of oh the profitability probably takes into account the fact that it doesn't make sense to do it here in Southern California, where uh, we pay right now, I'm in tier two, and that is roughly 17 cents per kilowatt hour. Your profits are going to drop quite a bit because the electricity is so high over here compared to other parts of the country or maybe other parts of the world. So keep that in mind in terms of this calculation. This is taking that into account. And of course, you can go ahead and check that out and adjust those things over in um, the advanced settings. Okay, go in there and go ahead and adjust some of these different things here in terms of the calculations and roughly how much your electricity costs in order to do the whole entire shebang to figure out whether or not it's worthwhile. But I won't go into that here in this video. Please give us a like, subscribe for more, and I'll catch you next video. Thanks for watching.